The Malefic player you saw yesterday is advanced on to a much more treacherous setting, as they would say here. So today we have Cyber Angel versus Malefics, and paying homage to the end of an era here. So we've got Double Retaliating C, Malefic Territory, and the Cyber Endo Dragon. And as you see down here, we have Herald opening up Christia, Petite Angel, Ritual Sanctuary Desires, and the Dakini, which is actually pretty good. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to activate Malefic Territory. On activation, we get to add that Malefic World uh, from our deck to uh, our field zone here, which is going to basically set us on up to start allowing us to play the game. Hello, Beat Sticks. And this will bypass the Malefic Restriction that we want. But we're holding Double Retaliating C. So whatever our opponent really does here uh, should be fine. Uh, no gear, though. Actually, not seeing the gear is kind of uh, discouraging, actually. We're going to go ahead. We're going to summon the Cyber End. That way, at least we'll have field presence. A 4K body should be no problem to handle for today's format. So, uh, we've drawn Ash Blossom. So, we've actually got a very interesting setup here uh, for what we're coming. We'll see what these two cards get us if we get anything much better. Oh, look, we got MST. And the Cyber or Machine Angel Ritual. Wow. The free pop on the MST is just free real estate, as they like to say. Man, things I never thought I would see. Just, oh, I drew the MST. Well, you know, that's pretty good. So we're going to go overhead and we're going to activate Ritual Sanctuary here. We're going to discard the MST to add one light ritual monster or one ritual spell from our deck to our hand. So we're going to go ahead and toggle on up here. We're going to get us a Ben 10. The beautiful thing about Ben 10 is whenever she's tributed, we just get to go search for whatever we want. Like, the fact that she just searches for one light fairy is really good. So we're going to bring down the Cyber Petite Angel. If this card is summoned, you can add one mo Cyber Angel monster or Machine Angel Ritual from your deck to your hand. So now we're going to go ahead and get full searchability on ED10. We've literally got them all here. We're just missing the big ones. We're going to Machine Angel Ritual on up here. So we're going to go ahead and get the Retaliating C on the chain here so that uh, we can get some banishing going here. Hello, free beat stick. So we're going to unfortunately lose a couple of our friends. We're not going to get a search here. And down comes the E to 10. So you can add one ritual spell from your deck to, or graveyard to your hand. If this card is tributed, you can make all ritual monsters gain 1,000 attack and defense. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to get a free search here, which is going to get us another Machine Angel ritual. I uh, probably have to waste a battle phase to go clear out this stupid retaliating C that's trying to pester us on down here. And uh, good news, we're not seeing this Archlord Christia drop anytime soon, which is a good thing. All right. So, the fun stuff begins. So we're going to go ahead and swing on over the retaliating C so we can get that thing off the field. And we still got to deal with the Malefic Cyber End. I mean, we can make Cerberus to out this. Should be no problem. In phase two, we're gonna machine angel ritual on up, and our opponent's gonna reveal the second retaliating C to us. And we're gonna just go. Why are you so good at this guy? Oh man. So machine angel ritual. Yeah, I know. Big oof indeed. Alright, so we're gonna tribute the Ben 10 and one not to summon the Dakini. So if this card is ritual summon, you can make your opponent send one monster they control to the graveyard. Their choice. If your ritual monster control attacks a defense position monster with like piercing damage to your opponent. And once per turn during your end phase, you can target one ritual or machine angel ritual in the graveyard and add it back to your hand. So uh Dakini here is gonna force one of the two of these off of the field. Um goodbye, retaliating C. Um we've still prevented our opponent from uh dropping this Christia. Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and we're going to link summon the hip hoshigen putting us at uh, two lights in the graveyard. We're, we're getting close there. That's fine. We're just advancing the game state progressively. It's how this works. So we're going to go ahead and field effect here. So we can... Do, 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 do. Oh, right. Field defecto... Oh. 
Malefic Cyber Ender Dragon. You ever just have your field stopped by an Ash Blossom and unable to play the game? That's uh, That feels bad right there. But it's fine. It's just free Ash Blossom fodder. Alright, so the turn passes on back to us. Alright, so we got another E to 10 here. We've got Dakini and we've got the Manju of the old 10,000 hands, which should basically start getting us to where we need to be. So now we've got another Angel, Machine Angel Absolute Ritual. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to drop the Absolute on the table here. Uh, we're going to attempt to Ritual Summon the big one now. Do, 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 do. So down comes Dakini. Uh, we also have E to 10 for the power up on this thing, uh, which is going to force our cyber end off of the field. Um, and we get also get, what, a thousand boost on this? Uh, yeah. It's pretty good. Pretty good indeed. And then down comes the Archlord Christia, which Malefics are going to have to play really bad to out this if they actually want to have a chance, because uh, this isn't super easy to handle. I mean, every Malefic that we have in our deck can't be specialed now. Um, I mean, I guess we could go get, like, Selector or something like that. We're just going to draw for turn, and we get the one for one. Which, getting our field spell ashed was big stink no-no. Um, that actually, that's the point that I think cost him the game, was the fact that he couldn't get any sort of rebound off of that. Yeah, summoning Malefic Cyber in the early game was very correct. Actually put him in a very monstrous lead, actually. Um, that was actually really nice to see. Um, but, you know, combo ritual decks do ritual combo things, and they tear through the competition, as we've seen so far here. So we're going on into game two here. McNay Rich is 1-0, and we're going to see if uh, South 5359 can pull this on back. So we've drawn a brick, a brick, an Ash Blossom, and a Malefic World. So at least we can activate the Malefic World and then deploy um, the Stardust to protect our field spell. It's not a great advancement of game state, but it's something. All right. We've actually drawn MST yet again. This man is like a whisper for this. We're going to summon the Grand Manju, and uh, we're going to walk on in. Excuse me. We're going to Ash the Manju. So now we've got Absolute Ritual, Monster Reborn. Oh, well, it looks like we're getting another turn here. Because uh, immediately there's no value here. Unless he uh, Monster Reborns the Ash, makes a Link 2 and outs this. But that just doesn't seem like a good progression of game state, honestly. We're going to set the MST and pass it on over to our friend. All right. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to resolve our field. All three Malefic Territories coming on down because we want to see one of these now. All right. Malefic Territories inbound. We're going to get MST'd here, which I cry every time. Enjoy your one Malefic monster for the game. MST is a very good card. Really good. We're going to swing on over the Manju. We're going to see if our opponent can actually get somewhere here. Ooh, we drew the stick. Alright, so we're going to stick it on up for a chair. We're going to crash on in here. And then we're going to go ahead and Monster Reborn on the Scepter. So, uh, now we can actually trigger the chair in hand and search yet again. Oh, man. And get another search. Stick chair is absurd for the way that this game works. <laughs> Overlay. We're going to make a Delteros and pop. Get a free draw one off of that, by the way. <laughs> this is so ridiculous. Now we're just tearing down this field. See, this is the problem with Malefics. Like, you need your cards to stay face up. Now we've got Fairy Wind and MST ready to counter the strategy. And we're literally too fair reason. We were close to getting there. Um, we'll, uh, we'll see where this turn goes, because, yeah, we're just passing. Yep, draw, pass on back here. Uh, we're just going to slow roll here. No point in overextending, honestly, because our opponent's just drawing bricks at this point, and we got him down to 5,500. Ooh, look, terraforming. All right, so down comes the Ritual Sanctuary. Sanctuary for the Ben 10, and now we start the OTK process. 
Stupid retaliating. See, why do you exist? All right, so we got a Manju established. We're going to get a free pop off of the Delta Rose again. And then we just ritual summon and slam on in for game here with the BM of the Christia. I love it. So we got Cyber Angels advancing on to the finals versus Super Heavy Samurai. What do you guys think? Please leave a comment down below. Tell me what you guys think. And well, guys, I'm out. The ride never truly ends. Thank you, patrons, for helping support the channel. Without you guys, I don't know if I'd still be doing this. And for those of you that like Cardfight Vanguard, Fancole 40 is here for all your content needs. And those of you asking if I sell cards, mcoolgames.com for all your trading card game needs. Check the description for more interesting info. Thanks for watching, guys.